Great. Question three. Um, the, question, the equation of the curve is y plus e to 2x plus x. So we just straight okay. away we've got the product in there, e to 2x times plus x. Find dy by the x, and hence find, now this is crucial, hence find the coordinates of any station points. So not just the x values, we need to find the y value to go along with it. Um, for which x is between minus pi and pi. And give your answers correct to three significant figures. Okay. So we spotted, didn't we, that this was a uh, quotient rule question, a product rule, sorry, question. So dy by the x is the first times the derivative of the second plus the second, which is cos x, times the derivative of the first, and e to the 2x goes to 2 e to the 2x. So our expression for dy by the x is minus e to the 2x sine x plus 2 e to the 2x cos x. So basically we're, that in on that. Um, we're looking for stationary points. So if we have a stationary point, we're interested in what happens when dy by the x is 0. So that means this expression has to be equal to 0. At that point, of course, we want to factorise it. We've got a common factor of e to the 2x minus sine x plus 2 cos x. Now, by this stage in our mathematical journey, we uh, know enough to know that e to the 2x can never be 0. We could maybe comment on that, but, but actually it's enough just to reject it as a solution. We don't need to make a comment, particularly about rejecting that as a solution. Um, e to the 2x is greater than 0 for all x. So we're left with minus sine x plus 2 cos x is 0. I got the feeling that some people looked at that and thought that's a terrifying equation, don't know what to do with that, and, and kind of connected it a bit. But actually that's, that could have been core two, couldn't it? If we rearrange this slightly, then we could say this says that sine x equals 2 cos x, and by the time we've divided by cos x, we've got 10 x equals 2. So it's just a 10 x equals 2 equation. Well, let's be careful with that minus sign. So we're going to do inverse 10 of 2. And, uh, and of course, we have to be in radians. Because it's, we've just done calculus with this stuff. So it must be radians. I am, um, did I write down what I got? Oh, yeah, there we go. I've got it here. So I got x equals 1.107. And I don't mind using <coughs> the or whatever method you use for this. I like. Diagrams. So on the cast diagram, my values have a 1.107. It, it's comfortably in the first quadrant because, of course, the first quadrant, it would be a bigger angle than that, wouldn't it? But the first quadrant is up to um, 1.57 inch. This angle on here then is also 1.107. We're between minus pi and plus pi. So the other angle we need to refer to is that angle there which is the angle minus 2.034. That is minus pi plus 1.107. So they are the only solutions that we have. The question said, find the y value. So if we go for the y values then, if x equals 1.107, the y value associated with that Subbing it back into the original equation, e to the 2 times 1.107 cos 1.107 is 4.094. And if x is minus 2.034, y gives us minus 0.0765. Uh, at this point, Dave has got 5 out of 6. Why have I got 5 out of 6? You've got to make sure you're reading questions carefully, and it does clearly say the three significant figures. So this isn't one of those cases where you can get away with putting more accuracy down. 
This is one of the cases where the question has explicitly stated the degree of accuracy that we want, so you have to stick to that. So my final answer is going to be putting these as two coordinates, 1.11, 4.09, and the other coordinate, minus 2.03 and minus 0.